everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Allison and today is December 16th so it is the eighth day of Vlogmas I believe. I am so excited for today's video because I think it's going to be a little different. I feel like I say that in every video but I actually believe that this video is going to be different from previous videos. So for today's video I really wanted to do like a fav favorite products of 2020 that kind of thing but the more I started thinking about it the more I feel like I use like the exact same products constantly I don't really buy new products and if I do I do a lot of research into them before I buy them and so I just didn't feel like that video was gonna have a lot of like solid content to it and so instead I decided to switch it up and I'm actually gonna be talking about my favorite influencers of 2020 Really my favorite channels, my favorite Instagram feeds, um, books, music, that kind of thing. I think this video is going to be really fun. Whenever I am watching people on YouTube or Instagram, I'm always interested in who they're watching because I think for the most part, you tend to watch similar content as you put out. Especially, I feel like that's really true for me. I watch YouTube videos that I really enjoy stuff like day in my life, what I eat in a day, things like that. And then I want to make content like that. So whenever I find someone new on YouTube, or if I'm just really starting to vibe with somebody, I feel like everybody goes through stages where you're like really obsessed with one person and you just like constantly watch all their videos and you want to watch videos like theirs. I'm always curious like who they're watching, what kind of content they're consuming that they're then turning around and giving to us. For this video, I decided to talk about my favorite people out there so that you guys can hopefully get an idea of what I'm consuming, but also so you guys can find some new people to follow, new podcasts to listen to, things like that. And hopefully this video will be fun and interesting to watch, but also give you guys some new people to check out. So let's just jump into it, shall we? The first category that we are going to be talking about today is podcasts. I love podcasts, especially in 2020 when we have moved five hours away from our hometown. We're making that trip pretty often, so they're perfect to listen to in long drives. I also enjoy listening to them when I'm doing chores or working out and things like that. And then I also drive to school about 30 minutes, so they're really nice to listen to just on those short drives as well. My number three top favorite podcast is Office Ladies. If you've never listened to The Office Ladies, it is a podcast centered around the TV show The Office, which I am in love with. I have seen that show all the way through about four times, and it stars Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey, who play Angela and Pam on the show. Basically, the whole podcast is each episode, they go through an episode of the TV show, and they talk about all the behind the scenes, who wrote it, who directed it, just fun little things, fun things that weren't written into the script but ended up being in the show due to improv. It's really, really interesting and really funny. They also like to interview other members of the cast. So they've had Mindy Cowling, um, Rain Wilson, John Kosinski, for example, with Casino Night, the big episode where Jim finally confesses his love to Pam. They had John Krasinski on the show and they talked about it from both point of views and it's just so interesting to listen to, especially all the behind the scenes. I think my favorite part is finding out what scenes ended up being complete improv that weren't even written into the script that just somebody thought of in the moment and then they're some of my favorite scenes. I think that's so funny. The, sh the whole sh podcast is also hilarious. I'm always laughing when I'm listening to it. And it's just a perfect way, as someone who has seen the show so many times that I feel like I can quote like every episode, it's like another way of watching the show. And so I think it's so fun. If you've ever watched The Office, you definitely, definitely need to check out The Office Ladies podcast. It's also the perfect show for binging. It's not something that I listen to every single week. It's not something that I'm like, oh, they have a new episode out, let me watch that. But it is something that when we're road tripping, I will listen to that podcast the entire five hours. Or if I have like a big cleaning day where I need to get like a lot done, I'll turn that on and I'll listen to it all day. It's perfect for binging, which I think is really interesting as a podcast. And it's really fun to like listen to and then like watch the episode as well. So definitely check out the Office Ladies podcast. My number two favorite podcast of 2020 is But What's Next with Michelle Reed. 
Michelle is a originally New York based YouTuber who just moved to Texas during quarantine and I actually found her through her podcast first and I think her podcast is so fun. It's so relatable to me because we're the same age. She just got married. She lives in Texas as well. She lives in Dallas. I live in Austin, but it is so interesting to listen to and so fun because I just feel like I relate to her a lot. One thing that I love about her podcast is her Christian faith. I feel like she does an amazing job of just incorporating her faith in very casually. And I think that is something that is so important nowadays. Usually with Christian influencers, they're either really in where they pace, where most of their videos and most of their content is centered around their faith or they don't talk about their faith at all. And I think that's because they're, there's a lot of stigma behind Christianity, especially online. And people tend to be like, you either need to constantly be preaching to your followers or don't preach at all. And I think that Michelle Reed does a really, really awesome job of balancing that and making it very casual where you can be someone who doesn't necessarily buy into the Christian faith, but enjoy her podcast. And I think that is awesome from like an evangelistic standpoint because people are going to like your videos. They're going to relate to you. They're going to feel connected to you. And then you're able to preach to them. Well, not even preach to them. I don't want to use that word because you're able to, you're able to talk to them about God in this really interesting way and it doesn't feel preachy it feels casual and so I was just the very first podcast that I listened to of hers she talked about her faith and I was just so impressed and so um I just really like that I really like and want to um emulate that I don't know if that's the right word but emulate that in my own shows so definitely check her out she does a lot of like solo episodes but she also does interview some people and so I highly recommend checking her out especially if you are a young married girl like me I think she does a really good job of talking about marriage as well in her podcast so yeah but what's next with Michelle Reed okay and my number one favorite podcast of 2020 is what we said with JC Marie Smith and Chelsea Jade Curtis I absolutely love this podcast I've been listening to it for years I think December is actually two years that I've been listening to them and they are the most funny wholesome podcast out there you have to check them out so they have content from well give you a little background JC and Chelsea are high school best friends who now both live in LA and they started this podcast as kind of a fun thing to do and it has really grown into something really amazing to me their podcast is like the perfect merge of like YouTube and podcasting. They make podcasts that aren't, sometimes I think podcasts have to be like educational and like more on that standpoint, but they make entertaining podcasts and they also have educational ones. They have podcasts that are everything from interviewing um, people they have interviewed. Recently, they interviewed a doctor all about oral health and the microbiome, and those podcasts are so interesting. They've interviewed estheticians about skincare. They also talk about their personal lives a lot. You know, they go through their morning routines. Recently, they had a, like, Vogue style 73 questions where you can just get to know them better. And then they also have these so fun podcast episodes where they will go through um, follower submissions of worst dating stories, worst accidental texts, celebrity, like weird ways they met, people met celebrities. And I just think it's so fun. I'm always, always laughing at their podcast. And I think they do a really, really good job of being very genuine. And you really feel like when you're listening to their podcast, you're hanging out with some of your friends. I absolutely love their podcast. I cannot express enough. Definitely, definitely check out the What We Said podcast if you don't check out any other thing that I tell you today. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our next category, which is a little different, and that is my favorite TikToks. My favorite people on TikTok, really. I started watching TikTok, like I think a lot of people did, in April-ish, during just the real height of quarantine. I was born one day. And I was like, I'm just going to download TikTok. I'm just going to watch it. And, you know, I probably won't like it. It'll probably be so lame. And I'll just delete it because it's for, like, high schoolers. 
And the first day that I had it, I was on TikTok for like three hours. I like looked out, I was like scrolling. I was like, I kind of like this. I look up at the clock and I'm like, it's been three hours since I downloaded this. And it's been, it's all history from there. <laughs> I, I think TikTok is such a fun way to just like mellow out and watch funny stuff. It's also interesting because I hear this from everybody. But I actually learn a lot of interesting things on TikTok. Like you just can find the most random content and then it's only 60 seconds. I mean, the videos are only from 15 to 60 seconds. So it's really easy to just like watch it for a few minutes and get several things in and then be done. But it's also really easy to binge it and just like be on it for hours. I had to set a screen limit time of one hour on my phone. So I only allow myself one hour of TikTok a day for the most part. But let's get into my top three favorite TikTok feeds, channels. I don't know what you talk, call that, but my number three top favorite TikTok of 2020 is Mad Detailing or M-A-D Detailing. Their content has changed a lot recently and I'm starting to kind of move away from it, but they make videos of them doing these intense details of cars. Basically, they take, they've even taken cars that have, were found like out in the woods and they restore them, clean them, and they're so fun. I, they're so satisfying to watch. Like watching them like um, spray, what do you call that? Where it's like a really hard water. Dang, what do you call that? I can't remember. But watching them like wash off a car and just all the dirt coming off of it or watching them clean carpets and getting them looking like a completely different color is so satisfying. And the reason I say I'm not a huge fan of their more recent content is just because instead of like talking about the detailing in their voiceovers, they tend to do more ads towards their YouTube or towards the products that they sell. But I still find their videos really satisfying, so don't worry about it. Just in case I didn't mention this before, I am going to be linking all of this down below so you can just scroll. If there is anything that you're interested in watching, you can scroll down, click it, and find it. Or if like TikTok, I don't think I can link TikTok, but I can have um, their username so you can quickly find them on TikTok. But my number two favorite TikTok of 2020 is Vanessa Amoro and I'm sorry if I just butchered that last name but she is the queen of cleaning she is a um house cleaner somewhere in Texas I haven't been able to figure out where she lives in Texas but I'm still trying but she makes these videos where she talks about house cleaning and like little things like that but then she also talks about like how to clean things and her videos are so inspiring like motivational like if I need to clean and I know I need to clean but I don't want to clean I go to her TikTok and I just watch like five or six of her videos and then I'm ready to get up and clean she talks about cleaning like really specific things like the tracks in your windows to just like general cleaning bathrooms and I just think her videos are so fun she is really like her her tag is always she's like let's go and I love it she is so fun Definitely, definitely check out Vanessa Amoro. My number one favorite TikTok of 2020 is, I've said it before, JC Marie Smith. I love her TikToks because they're so aesthetically pleasing. I've said before, I commented on several of her videos, that she, her videos are the epitome of being the main character in your own life. That's been like a big thing on TikTok this year, just talking about how we're the main character of our life and we should be it why do we believe that we're just a side character in the story we're the main character and her videos are so fun she lives in LA like I said earlier she's one of the people on the what we said podcast and she just makes these just like films like beautiful videos for 60 seconds and she posts them and they're so fun recently she's also been posting a lot of the Instagram versus reality tag where she goes through her Instagram photos and talks about like how she did it and like What she had to do to get that photo and I think that's really interesting because she is a great photographer now Let's move on to music. So Unfortunately, I have not listened to a lot of new music in 2020 um, I've been really stuck in my old ways, but thankfully my old ways have been helping me out in 2020. Really the only person I can say I've been listening to in 2020 is Taylor Swift. If you didn't know, if you've somehow been living under a rock for the last year, which I mean, it is 2020, maybe you have. 
Taylor Swift released two albums this year. The first, first one was Folklore and the second one was Evermore and both of those albums are amazing. I love them and they just got me really spinning right back into my Taylor Swift vibe. And so honestly, I've been listening to those two albums a lot and just all of her old music a ton. Taylor Swift is my number one artist of 2020. The next thing I have for you guys is my favorite Instagram feeds of 2020. My number three favorite Instagram of 2020 is actually Ashlyn Sal Salisbury. I don't really know how to say, say her last name. I think it's Salisbury, but if you've never heard of her, she is actually Christian John's sister. And I'm gonna talk about Christian John when I get to the YouTube portion, but she and her husband are from America, I'm pretty sure. I know her and her husband met in America, she is from America. They now live in Denmark and they have two children. And I just think it's so interesting learning about like the different culture, the different way that they do stuff. Um, she talks a lot about like the difference in grocery stores, the difference in like her kids daycare. And it's also like dark. I think that it's only light for like four hours this time of year where she lives in Denmark. So she talks about that a lot and talks about um, it's very cold there and that kind of thing. And I just think it's so interesting. And so I started following her when I was getting really interested in Huga and like learning about that. And that is a Denmark um, word. And so she, I started following her because of that. And I think her videos are, her, her photos and her Instagram stories are just so interesting to watch. My number two favorite Instagram of 2020 is Whitney Simmons. Of course, I love Whitney Simmons. I've been watching her YouTube videos for forever, but I also love her Instagram. She posts a lot of um, workout content, but on her Instagram story, she posts so much motivational content. And I think that's just something that we definitely need in 2020. She's always posting these videos of her like hyping up her followers and talking about being grateful and um, just staying, staying happy with yourself. And I love that. So if you are in need of some extra motivation, some extra love, definitely check out Whitney Simmons. My number one favorite Instagram feed is JC Marie Smith and the What We Said podcast. I know I've mentioned this so many times, but JC, JC has her own channel, JC Marie Smith. And then she also I believe she does most of the photo content for the What We Said podcast as well because those feeds are very similar. And their feeds are just so aesthetically pleasing. They're so fun, especially JC. She just does, she's a photographer, like based as a photographer. She started out as a photographer. So her photos are just so like well thought out and well planned. Even her ads, even when she does an ad for a clothing company or for like a perfume, the video, the photos are just so nice and so wonderful to look at. And so I definitely love her. I think she is Instagram goals. Definitely check out the JC Marie Smith and what we said so that you can get a great content, beautiful content to look at. Next up, I have my favorite books of 2020. So I did not read as much in 2020 as I had planned on and that I think a lot of people did. I started reading more um, towards, during the school semester really. I was trying to read before bed to try to like calm down. And so I, I read several books that I'd read before. I read some Harry Potter books. One of which I read before has become again my favorite book series of 2020. And that is the Life As We Knew It series. If you've never heard of this series, it is a young adult. It's definitely centered more towards like high school. I read it originally in high school, but I reread it this year because it was a book that I just absolutely loved in high school. It's been one of my favorite books for years and I needed to reread it because it had been a few years. So these books are, it's a four set, it's four books, I believe. Yeah, four books in the series, but the first two books are definitely my favorite. And they are like an apocalypse type storyline. Basically in the first book, an asteroid hits the moon, pushing it closer to Earth's orbit, causing all of these like tide changes, earthquakes, volcanoes, and each of those things cause something. Yellowstone National Park actually blows up in the book, causing a basically eternal winter. Um, and so the book is so interesting because the first book is from the girl's point of view. And it's just about her family and what they did and like 
surviving the year as this and then the second book is from a boy's point of view and he lives in New York City and the first book is very like she goes through a lot of just being like so upset that this happened to her even though it happened to everybody and kind of this like inner turmoil about that and it's just so interesting that book I really loved because it made me feel so grateful for what I had and it was a lot about being grateful for what you have when you have it um the second book was oh my gosh it's so dark so deep he the, it's in a boy's point of view he lives in New York City and as you can imagine any sort of apocalypse type thing would be so much worse in New York City because there's just so little resources in the first book the girl is able to have a garden and they have their home but in the second book there's no place for a garden and so um that book is so much more dark and has so much like more sadness in it but both books are amazing the third and fourth book are them the boy and the girl kind of together I definitely definitely recommend that you at least read the first book at least read life as we knew it that's the first book um and then it is a four book series so yeah that is my favorite book of 2020 now let's get into my favorite youtubers of 2020 i tried to pick like a top three for everything that i could but youtube is just too difficult because i like each person for different reasons and so i couldn't like group them together i couldn't narrow it down to three because that was just too hard so i think i actually have five but let's let's just jump into it the first one is allison bickerstaff so allison is she and i have the same name but she lives in florida and i think her videos are just so beautiful and aesthetic they just make me want to drink some coffee by the fire and read a book and they're just really fun she does a lot of day in my life videos a lot of vlog videos she does some cooking some trader joe's hauls things like that but I just think her videos are very like aesthetically pleasing and really fun to watch. The next one is Nikki Philippi. Nikki is one of the people that I have been watching for years. Like there are probably three YouTubers that I can't remember when I started watching them because I've been, I've been watching them pretty much since I got on YouTube and Nikki is one of those. But I think in 2020 her videos have really just become amazing she makes a lot of like day in my life week in my life videos she does a lot of cooking and she is a homesteader and she does live in Nashville but her and her husband have chickens and a garden and she's a very homebody and so her videos really haven't changed that much um as far as like what the content is in 2020 because already she was at home most of the time but her videos have just become so calming cozy vibes i love i love watching her videos before bed because they're just so calming and relaxing and they're fun and they her videos are those videos that don't make me want to go out and spend money some day in my life videos and vlogs like it just feels like they're always doing something when they're vlogging like they're always like going shopping or going out to eat and all this stuff they're going to get coffee and so when I watch them I'm like I want to go shopping I want to go get a coffee or get a juice or I want to go have lunch you know at a cafe but her videos are just like she's always at home you know occasionally they go out and get coffee or whatever but they're at home and they're just cooking all this delicious food food and just enjoying being at home and so it makes me enjoy being at home as well so definitely check out Nikki Philippi if you want some calm cozy vibes all year round the next youtuber I have is Squirmy and Grubs or Hannah and Shane on YouTube they are a couple who Shane is actually disabled and they met while Shane was in a wheelchair he's been disabled his whole life and now they're married and Hannah takes his care of him completely Shane was already kind of popular um in the I want to say like kind of in the disabled community and in the community of people um who like have family that are disabled he did a, he has a lot of books out he has um he does a lot of like public talks but now Hannah and Shane have this video together where they just talk about their lives and what it's like um being them like I <laughs> I think their videos are super funny number one like Shane is hilarious 
and I think I would watch their videos even if Shane wasn't disabled but I also think their videos are so interesting because they talk about like the difficulties Shane has when they're traveling because he's in a wheelchair and like there's not accessibility and they right now they're doing vlogmas and so they talk a lot in their vlogs about like like yesterday they had a vlog where they answered the question what it's like to be disabled and so they they just are really open and honest and their goal is to just like share and normalize disability and I think their videos are they're just so interesting especially as someone who doesn't have experience with that like I don't have any family who is disabled or anything like that and so it opens your eyes to a lot of things that you wouldn't think about and so I but their videos are also so funny like they're not just like educational Shane is absolutely hilarious absolutely hilarious so definitely check out squirmy and grubs on YouTube the next YouTuber that I have is Kristen and Marcus John. So Kristen and Marcus both have their own channels, but I especially love their couples channel. They don't post as much on that channel, but they are hilarious. And I just relate to them so much as one half of a couple. So I definitely recommend them if you are in a relationship and you want some couples goals. They recently did a video where Marcus did Kristen's morning routine and he had to like make coffee for them and make smoothies for them and it was just so funny like watching her face as she tried her hardest to not tell him how to do it I related to that so much it was so funny so definitely check out Kristen and Marcus Johns if you need some couple goals in your life the last YouTube video I have for you guys is an ASMR channel I love ASMR I talked about this a little bit in my um Christmas wish list video. I think ASMR videos are so relaxing and different. I feel like a lot of people don't like them and it's something I don't like to talk about like that I like ASMR, ASMR because I think people think it's weird. I definitely thought it was weird when I first started it but I love specifically I like to watch facial videos, hair play videos, or like back scratching videos. And I think they're just so nice and relaxing to watch. But my favorite YouTuber is Little Me Carmi. And she just makes the, the, the best like relaxing content. Like her voice is so relaxing. And that's who I love. I love listening to people talk. I don't love the sounds of like hair brushing or things like that. I tend to, if they're not talking, I tend to forward through it and just listen to their talking. And I think Little Me Carmi does a great job of like talking throughout her videos and it's so it's so wonderful I listen to them a lot they're very relaxing to me a especially during nursing school they were great for like nights when I was feeling extra stressed and I needed to get to bed things like that just winding down before bed so if you are interested in getting into ASMR definitely check out little me Carmi's videos her soft-spoken videos are they're wonderful they're peace they're beautiful okay guys that is all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that you um, found some content to check out and I hope that if you do like this video you'll give me a thumbs up and go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can get more this is steering vlogmas so the last video that I posted was a just day where I cleaned and got some work done and um, did grocery shopping my next video that's coming out Saturday is a part two to that video just in part two where I am going to be deep cleaning and organizing my bathroom and just like some of the clutter that we have around the house so if you want to see me doing some deep clean organizing definitely come back on Saturday for that video and oh wait or is that Friday it's Friday not Saturday that video will be out on Friday because today is Wednesday what was I thinking? Come back on Friday for my Just Day Part 2. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later.